PIFA Plus PF4, developed and manufactured by Acres Biosciences, is a qualitative in vitro diagnostic device designed for the rapid detection of antibodies to complexes of heparin and platelet factor 4. These antibodies are a major determinant in the pathogenesis of immune-mediated heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, referred to as HIT type 2 or HIT. PIFA Plus PF4 is a non-waved, moderate-complexity, rapid-hit antibody screening test and the first to integrate specimen preparation into the seven-step manual test procedure that delivers a result in under 10 minutes. The assay is also the first HIT antibody screening test to be initiated with a patient's whole blood specimen. Please review the package insert prior to initiating use to ensure that recommended testing and quality control procedures are followed and appropriate safety precautions are taken. PIFA Plus PF4 is based on principles of the particle immunofiltration assay, PIFA. Blue microparticle-based reagents coated with purified platelet factor 4, PF4 protein, are mixed with a yellow, serostat-prepared patient specimen to create a blue-green reagent mixture. After a brief 65 second mixing and reaction step, the blue-green reagent mixture is dispensed into the mini reactor's membrane filtration system. A reactive positive sample will form a matrix of blue microparticles that are bound together and trapped within the membrane filter. As a result, only yellow from the serostat prepared specimen can migrate into the test result window to signal a positive result. Conversely, a non-reactive sample does not form a matrix of microparticles, allowing the blue-green reagent mixture to pass through the membrane filter and migrate into the test result window to indicate a negative result. PIFA Plus PF4 is a single-use, rapid-hit antibody screening test that does not require special instrumentation, just a pipetter capable of delivering a 150 microliter sample disposable tips, and a timing device. PIFA Plus PF4 consists of two components, the serostat blood cell separator and a mini reactor device. The serostat features a sample well, membrane, and movable clear plastic sleeve. The mini reactor consists of a push-button reagent dispensing system, referred to as the tower, and a results flange. The serostat slot is in the center of the tower, while the blue microparticle-based reagents are seated within the base of the tower in the reaction chamber. The results flange contains the PIFA membrane filtration system and test, control, and reagent windows. Pre-test preparation. Complete tasks in the following order. 1. Remove the PIFA plus PF4 sealed pouch from refrigeration. 2. Visually inspect the pouch to confirm date of use is prior to expiration date. 3. The sealed pouch must remain at an ambient temperature, 18 to 27 degrees Celsius, 64 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit, for a minimum of 30 minutes. 4. Open the pouch, remove the PIFA Plus PF4 mini reactor, and place it on a flat surface. Remove the Serostat blood cell separator packet. Open packet and place the serostat on a flat surface. Ensure that both components are not cool to the touch. If they are cool, allow to warm to an ambient temperature. Use an insulator between the units and the countertop if the latter is cool. 5. Label the PIFA Plus PF4 mini reactor with the patient's identification. Ensure that the PIFA Plus PF4 logo on the device label is facing you. 6. Set timing device to 65 seconds. Do not initiate timing. The test procedure is initiated with the sample preparation step using the serostat blood cell separator. The serostat must be used to both prepare and deliver the patient specimen into the PIFA Plus PF4 mini reactor. Step 1. Ensure that the whole blood specimen is thoroughly mixed. Using a calibrated pipetter, dispense 150 microliters of the specimen onto the serostat sample well. 
Keep the serostat stationary on a flat surface until yellow reaches the lower edge of the membrane. Most samples will separate within 5 minutes. Occasionally, separation may take up to 8 minutes. Step 2. Keep the serostat flat and gently slide the clear plastic sleeve over the sample well until the top edge of the sleeve is flush with the top edge of the serostat. Note. Yellow color may not be uniformly distributed through the membrane and may appear mottled. Step 3. Pick up the serostat by the clear plastic sleeve. Rotate it so the yellow membrane is hanging in a downward position and the sample well is facing away from you. Locate the serostat above the tower, making sure that the yellow membrane can be inserted through the middle of the slot. Continue inserting into the slot until the serostat reaches a seated position. Step 4. With your flat palms, apply pressure to the serostat and push down until the serostat and tower reach a full seated position. You will hear a crack as the reagents contained within the ampule are released into the reaction chamber. Note the small but visible gap present when the serostat has reached a full seated position in the tower. Step 5. Initiate 65 second timer. Vigorously slide the device from side to side on the flat surface for 5 seconds, approximately 12 to 15 times. Stop motion when timer reaches 60 seconds. Step 6a. Keep device stationary for the remaining 60 seconds. When the timer sounds, immediately pull the tower up to the stop position. Step 6b. Tilt the mini reactor 45 degrees so the tower portion is elevated. Tap the results flange with a finger until a blue-green color appears to fill approximately 50% of the reagent window. Step 7. Return device to a flat surface. When a red color appears in the control window, interpret the result in the test window in well-lit conditions. A reactive sample will have formed a matrix of blue microparticles that are bound together and trapped within the membrane filter. As a result, only yellow from the serostat prepared specimen migrates into the test result window signaling a positive result. Conversely, a non-reactive sample does not form a matrix of blue microparticles allowing the blue-green reagent mixture to migrate into the test result window to indicate a negative result. Keep in mind, a negative test result window may contain various hues of blue-green as the color is sample dependent. Note: Flow rate is sample dependent. The time interval for red to develop in the control window varies and ranges from 1 to 10 minutes. If red fails to appear in the control window beyond the 10 minute mark, the test result is considered invalid. A valid test result is stable for 30 minutes. For technical assistance or information regarding the PIFA Plus PF4 and PIFA Heparin PF4 rapid assays, please call or email Acres Biosciences Inc. Acres Biosciences Inc. Rapid Diagnostics, Real Time Results. PIFA, PIFA Plus, Serostat, and ABI are registered trademarks of Acres Biosciences Inc.